Sylvia Mutia, that's me saying good evening in Uganda. More to literally mean, how has your day been? So I don't think that should mean good evening. Anyway, it's an evening here, and we have this thing, the charging port fell in. So we are taking it apart so that we can uh, see what the charging port has to say as a way of defense to see why it chose to just, uh, you know, drop in. So that we are here. I uh, thought I had gotten a surgical blade. Want to open it? I do. Let's proceed. So I am just going to speculate where the screws are located. I can't feel underneath this mesh, which is typical of these guys. So let's see if that's true. If it ain't too well and good, then we will be wrong. But I highly doubt we are wrong. So let me strive to make sure this comes out. Help. It's not a futile effort and endeavor. Okay. Taking it all around. So some of these things you have to use intuition based on past repairs to uh, propagate where you think you should open from. Do you think if you took photos it would do the trick? Or well, just okay. You understand that. Taking photos like while we are talking. Ah, photocopying that thing, but using photos. Okay. Now they bring that apart. Open that. There. And this is out. Now that exposes the screws. Strangely they look really big for the device that they are going to open. Do you see my drill slash motorized screwdriver in that bag? All right, uh, we're going to make sure this opens. And this saves me time. So, what's with the speakers? Am I supposed to unscrew them? So I'm going to peel this so that, that easily goes away without me having to strive a lot. All right. So, hmm. Perhaps these screws also function to hold both the speaker and uh, the frame. Yeah, they, they do. So that's weird implementation of solutions. Uh, let me disconnect the speaker and put this to the side. Having done that, we need to pick this subboard out. But before we do that, we need to unplug the battery from socket and it's a tight space but forced that out i believe the antenna also needs to be uh, desoldered so that means i need to solicit the services of my soldering gun anyway if you're new to this channel please do hit the subscribe button uh, we are on the hope that you will learn some bit of repair while here and uh, in any case there is no loss in just being there watching me do my thing and you also killing some time. This is a Pio's laboratory so I'm glad to see you here and I uh, hope this video helps you. So the procedure I'm going to use for replacing the charging port in this case will also help me with uh, introducing you guys to how the charging system of or charging port of a smartphone is changed. Uh, that being said, um, we need to see if our heating element has uh, heated that enough so that we disconnect that antenna. In the meantime, I need to pick a charging port that I suspect may be of use. That was a donor port. I just have to confirm that the type after 
we have disconnected and removed this uh, motherboard. So we're out. And uh, being out, that means we are getting closer and closer to the point at which we change the charging port anyway. Um, uh, we are going to have to pull this out. But for some reason, it seems to be objecting. Oh, the other port that broke is sort of blocking the path. This is how it looks like. I believe I may have that tight. And this comes out. Um, so we are interested in this. And where does the port sit? Somewhere here. I do not know what's wrong with people and ripping these ports off. Or is this the manufacturer doing a good job to fail? Are these people from simply enjoying their things? Now we are interested in that last terminal right there. Now this is one of the charging data lines. Now as per this, where does it go to the side? I think so. This is also one of those difficult ones that tend to give us hard time to make sure that they work. Now I'm going to base on this spot that we have here and see if we have something close to it. Uh, if we do, that would be great. This wants to look like it is closed, but uh, the terminal is a bit extended. The anchor points. Now, I do not know what this one has to offer, but uh, let's see what it has to say. And how does this spot look like? Right. I don't know why they isolated it in a dark thing, but this is all for the best. Yeah almost similar to this but anyway now that it is out why not attempt to use it mm -hmm. attempt to use it I just need to fold its terminals a little more so the anchor ones ok I think it shall, it shall serve the purpose now, because that contact point is far from the part we want to solder, we're going to attach looping wires. So, that said, um, let me get some earphones wires. They usually help me serve the purpose. And because this is going to one of those diodes, I like to think of it as the positive terminal. And uh, as such, uh, I want to color code the two much differently. Uh, I'm going to use blue to go to the positive and then uh, we use a uh, um, brown wire for the negative terminal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, I have the blue right there and then I'm uh, um, going to have my brown there. The brown, I think, may not really need that much of uh, persuasion to ask it to stay. Okay, it looks close, but I think let me just you not know, take my chances and uh, decide to do it the precautionary way. So I'm putting solder at the tip of my soldering gun, and then I need to uh, do that. And then also do this all right now the next stage is uh, what we do we need pest flux flux here you i get misplacing this bottle of flux hey you're dozing eh? oh you want the soundtrack uh well with soundtracks eh? getting royalty free soundtracks is just another copyright yeah uh, i wouldn't have mind did <laughs> flex 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 yellow 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 
Ah, c'est un fofo. Oh, c'est la peste. Now, I'm going to apply some the lags on those terminals. Since I'm interested in the extreme two, those are the ones that I'm going to apply solder to. I'm just cleaning my solder tip. So I'm going to place some solder there at that point, and then I come for this and uh, apply solder on it like that. I don't know. He just chooses not to want to bond. And that's very annoying. I think there's no perfect heat transfer between the two. Let me try to reduce the amount of heat. I think that heat is too much that whatever I put just automatically oxidizes. Oh uh, wait. So she can need the data. Eh, eh. What is my crime? You are going to doze, whether you pretend or not. As you are dozing. Right. Ah, man, I think he just doesn't want to accept. <laughs> ah. This is now just annoying. Okay, that done, and then this done. Mm -hmm. Okay, put that there. You can put the next into place. And uh, I want this other terminal to also get soldered. Yeah. Never is okay. I think this should do the job. That means I'm going to trim. Uh, so basically, this stage is uh, the stage in which we sort of establish the electrical conductivity or connection, and then also as. Uh, making sure that the, the next stage is about anchorage. So now where the contact points or conducting lines are going to be connected is right here. And uh, first things first, I'm going to attach that of the positive right there and then that of the negative right there. Now since this goes in this way, I remember our blue was the red, so our blue was the positive. We need to connect that first to a positive terminal. I'm trimming off the excess uh, and let me apply some flex there. 
and that should be enough. Okay, that's in excess. Well and good. If it is not, well and good. Okay. No. Okay, that one is connected. And then we follow through with the ground terminal, which is this. Okay, that's that. And so we got to phase two, that is anchoring it in place. And this will come like that. So we'll begin from the peripheries, which are the edges. Okay, sorry about my working space. It's looking. Okay, now that's that. I think I need to pick this out. Otherwise, I'm going to keep melting it. So that's all right. And uh, what we had placed is running away. 